Hey friends of Couch TV, Chris Anderson here in Miami Beach, Florida. I'm going to show you some new jQuery plugins I wrote to make couch app development super duper simple. So hopefully uh, you agree that this is the most fun you've ever had writing web applications. Here we go! Alright, let's get to it. The first thing I want to show you is a couch app called Tasker that I wrote to help Couch.io keep track of the things we need to get done. I also wrote it as an example to show you just how easy it is to create a couch app. I'll take it from the top so you can follow along at home and have pretty much the same thing that I've got here. So the URL is github.com slash jchris slash tasker. And if you visit there, you can grab the git clone URL and put it into your terminal like this. So now that tasker is downloaded, we'll change into the directory and prepare it for a couch app to deploy. We've got to create a file called .couchapprc. I'll create that file and paste the environment into it. So this environment just consists of the default database, which is called Tasker and is on localhost. Uh, it's also got my name and password. All right, so now I've got my couchapprc file ready to go. Now we'll run couchapp push, and Tasker should be deployed to my local CouchDB. So couchapp push. We've created the database. Let's visit the URL. We can leave the name and password out when we go to the browser. So we'll go to the browser and we'll paste this URL in. Here we are, welcome to Tasker. The first thing we've got to do is log in. I already signed up as an administrator via Futon. So I'll put in my name and password. And now here I am. It wants me to set up a user profile. So I'll just give myself a little bit of a more fun name and put in my email address and uh, the URL to my blog and hit go. Now it's got my picture via Gravatar and I'm ready to start adding tasks. The first one is show the people at home some couch app goodness. Alright, so there's my first task and you can also see that over here in the sidebar the hashtag has showed up in a uh, what's going to turn into a tag cloud. As I add more things, you'll see uh, add more tasks to tasker. You'll see that that sidebar um, is updated dynamically. There's an additional sidebar for usernames, so you can also assign tasks to yourself or to other people. So I'll add a few more hashtags so you can see this grow. Tour the source code of Tasker and show off Evently. Evently is the cool jQuery plugin that I wrote to handle all this. You can see, look, Tasker is growing because I've got a couple of tags for Tasker. I'll add uh, one more. Um, Tasker is a simple couch app. And now you can see we can browse via these tags as well. Uh, Click them and see which ones are related, or go back to the index to see all the recent tasks. So this is a pretty simple app. Uh, one other thing you can do is mark things as done, and that also changes the hashtags, tag cloud in real time. So now that I've shown you how to use Tasker, I want to show you the source code just for the tag cloud. The tag cloud uses Evently just like the rest of the app. So once you understand how the tag cloud works, you can see how the rest of the app is put together along the same lines. So here we are. This is the map view that generates the tag cloud query data. So what we're doing is getting any docs that are tasks and aren't done yet. So if a task is marked done, it doesn't contribute to the tag cloud. And then what all this business is about is for any hashtag in the task, we'll emit it once along with the timestamp and the full document itself. So I could optimize this and send less data to the view than the entire doc, but I'm not really concerned with optimizations at this point. The reduce is simple, it just counts the number of rows for each key. Now that's all uh, garden variety, plain old couch DB. Now I'll show you how Evently makes it super simple to make tag clouds and all kinds of other stuff. You can see over here in the sidebar that the tag cloud code is really just these three files. 
data, mustache, and query, all in an underscore changes directory. So let's start with query. Query just defines which view to look at and any view options you'd like to provide. So uh, it could be run with descending equals true or with a start key and end key or limit. Uh, but in this case, we want the entire view range and we want it at group level one. So eventually we'll take care of running this view query and handing the results to the data function. The data function's job is to clean up the results and put them into a format that's suitable for the template. So in this case, all we're doing is going through the list of tags and creating a JSON object that has the tag, a URI encoded version of the tag, and the number of times the tag occurs in the database. Now let's take a look at what the template does with that. Mustache templates are simple. There's more documentation elsewhere, but what you can see here is that we're replacing these various values with the JSON values from the data function. So those three files plus the MapReduce view are really all it takes to define the tag cloud. Uh, it may not seem possible, but it's really all there is to it. Uh, it's very simple, and uh, you get to edit your mustache templates as HTML, your queries are defined as JSON, and the data is just a JavaScript function. So I will show you one more thing Evently can do. This is pretty neat. If you look at how the tasks are loaded, they also use the changes feed. And uh, what we do is we define our query as, as being of the type new rows. This type isn't for CouchDB, it's for Evently. Evently knows that in this case, we only want to draw new data as it comes in via the changes feed. So this is what draws a new task at the top of the to-do list. So this will be at the top and there it shows up. If we had one of these open in another mode, it's not going to mess with it. So we only redraw, <laughs> we only redraw the new stuff. And there we go. That other one, nothing happened. Uh, that took a while to work out, but now that I've worked it out, you can just reuse it. There's online documentation for all of this. If you've checked out Tasker and you have it running, you can click this link, read documentation on programming apps like this, and you see a little documentation app that ships with the Couch App vendor JavaScript. So if we click Evently, here we are. This is the documentation for the Evently jQuery plugin. It's interactive, so you can run the examples in the sidebar, and you can edit the code so that instead of Hello World, we can say, Hello, crazy world, and run it and our changes show up immediately. So hopefully this is fun and explains how everything works at least enough to get you started. And uh, this is all really brand new. Uh, there's only been a few apps that have been written using this Evently uh, Pathfinder and the new Couch App plugins. But I think it's solid and I don't think I'm gonna go back to developing apps any other way. Hopefully you're getting excited and you want to try it out and share your feedback with me so we can make this even more awesome. Bum bum ba 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 bum ba 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 bum Couch TV Couch TV Couch TV Relax